Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, Happy New Year, it's December 31st. This is my final project share for December. Um, I wanted to get this out today, so hopefully I can get this posted um, in a few minutes, just so you guys have something, um, just a last video from me for the year. Um, so this is actually um, a tutorial that um, I got um, from Michelle at Pink Strawberries. Um, so you're definitely going to want to check her out. This is, um, she called it a mini advent um, calendar and she did like a six days of Christmas kind of countdown. And in her video, she mentioned kind of wishing that she had done a 12 days, but she was trying to do a smaller project, I think. So um, right when she said that, I was like, oh, I'm totally going to do that as a 12 day countdown. Um, so I definitely took her um, complete measurements and everything so if you want to recreate this just go to her um, tutorial and you're going to make this this portion here um, and I just made two of those and then connected it with the book spine so I'll show you what I mean in a minute when I open this up um, but anyway yeah definitely give Michelle a follow check out her video um, she has so many tutorials she's amazing and you are going to want to um excuse me, be following her. So um, first thing is um, on this, I, did, um, I didn't have time to make my own um, little dangle charm. So this is one that I actually purchased from Daisy Lou Designs. So um, I'll just kind of show you some of the um, fun details. So right when I saw this, um, she had posted this, I think a couple months ago, but it had this giant peppermint, this super cute candy cane, and I'm such a sucker for that. I love that type of thing. Um, I love the little angel that she had here and just her, um, her dangle charms are just really amazing. So I loved this. I had to purchase it. Now, in order to kind of make it match my project, I did add this little pink um, bead here. I added this little one here and then there's like a little kind of tealish green one, um, a little peppermint that I added. So, um, yeah, the, the dangle charm was perfect as is, but I was just trying to tie a little bit of this pink in, um, and this kind of more minty green. So that's just, that was the only reason I added those charms. Otherwise, you know, like I said, it's amazing. She does amazing work and we would normally not need any extra, but, um, so anyway, I just, um, kind of hook this to the spine. I, I can't find my eyelets, but I'm going to put eyelets here. And I just tied a ribbon and um, and then just hooked the clasp to that. I didn't have a big um, uh, like jump ring or anything large enough to fit through there. So that's just kind of how I did it with the ribbon. But I think it kind of made it kind of kind of cute. So I like that. Um, and then another couple things just to point out some other um, small businesses. Um, I did a project, my 12 days of Christmas, little um, tiny milk carton boxes that I made for my um, daughter. And um, it was part of the Pushy's Halloween um, uh, hop Christmas, I'm sorry, Pushy's Halloween Christmas ornament hop. Um, I used a print and, print and like kind of fussy cut file that I got from Kelly Bangs Creative. And um, I used Pink Christmas. Now she has another collection called, um, Oh my gosh. Oh, mix and a mingle, mix and mingle, mix and a mingle. Um, and so there was some really fun elements in that, that, um, uh, digital collection. And so I included those here, um, on the front of the album. And then I, the most, most of the things I used here is from, um, the crepe papers, Mary day. So like the Santa and this little chipboard piece, and then you'll see some stuff inside, but I definitely wanted to use, um, Kelly at Kelly Bangs Creative Digital Collection on the cover. So I think it just came out super cute. Um, there's just so many fun like retro elements in that collection, like this little vintage record player. And I love the little pink fireplace. And um, I love like just the graphics and then like the shiny bright um, ornaments. I just think those are just so adorable. But that whole collection is very vintage, super fun. And like I said, you're gonna wanna check it out. Um, and then just to add some extra interest to the cover, um, I added this giant bow that I got off AliExpress years ago. And then I just kind of sewed some little um, sequins and some of these little clay bits. And then this is like a kind of just a little flat back snowflake that I got, I think from Hobby Lobby years ago. So um, anyway, that's just the cover, um, super cute. Um, I don't recall 
if this paper was Merry Days or Fall All Arts. I don't, I don't even know. I know this one is Snow and Cocoa, so I wanted to tie in the pink um, to this, this collection. And um, so that's just kind of what I, I use to create my spine. Um, so you can make this any thickness you want once you follow Michelle's um, tutorial. So um, let me just kind of show you the inside. So hopefully that's all gonna be in frame. But yeah, so basically what Michelle did was she created this section here. So she her tutorial gives you everything you need to create this um, six days of Christmas. I simply made two of them. So um, I was able to get my 12 days of Christmas. And then I wanted to combine it. So her, I think her idea was she was thinking just having it together and doing like a 12 by 12. But I kind of thought it'd be fun to make this into a book. So I just made them separate and then created the spine with this um, piece of paper here. And I just did double thickness and stitched it together and then glued it, um, you know, glued it on my cover. I scored it and then glued it. So it came out really good. I'm super, super pleased. Um, this tutorial is amazing. Now, I don't have this completely finished. Um, my pockets are all done. Everything's done, but I didn't finish filling them um, because this is going to be for someone next year. So there's going to be embellishments and things that I make next year that I'm going to fill it with. But I did want you to see kind of how it looked with some stuff in it. So um, these are super cute. So you basically create all these little pockets. You just create 12 of them. Um, I'm pretty anal and so like I have to have it exactly a certain, I'm very OCD, so I have to have it a certain way. So that's why my sides kind of look the same. Um, you know, where these are gonna fold out, this one's gonna fold in, that one's gonna fold out. But you could do it however you want. Um, this is just the way my brain works and it works, um, it's just the only way I can do it. So um, anyway, and then the other thing too is Michelle was saying, you know, it, it, to keep these from flapping open, because if you can see here, they're not flapping open. Um, so she was saying you could maybe do some ribbon. So you would have, you would glue your ribbon underneath and then you could tie each of these with ribbon, which I think would be super, super cute. I love that idea. Um, I had already glued everything down though, prior to even thinking about that. So what I decided to do was just Velcro. So um, so I'll just show you each pocket. So this one here is just um, a super sweet, like I said, I use most of the, the um, uh, Hey Santa. I don't know if I said, I think I said the wrong thing earlier. So anyway, it's the Hey Santa collection um, is most of this paper. Um, and so I just did each little pocket um, just kind of alternating colors so there wasn't too, you know, many like pinks or whites like right next to each other. Um, I embellished this with a little sticker from Michael's or Hobby Lobby from years ago. And then I used just very, a bunch of various um, numbers that I had in my stash. So, you know, I know we all have tons of alphabet sets and they usually have numbers in them. So I thought it was just fun to kind of um, use different ones, uh, but you could certainly use all the same, but I just like the eclectic look of that. Um, so my first pocket, I just have this little sweet um, paper clip here. And then I just included some little pieces of ephemera or a die cut and then some of from ephemera. And then this was some ephemera from the Hey Santa collection, I think. I think that's where these came from. And um, I just tied them with a little bit of twine uh, or a little baker's twine so that I, I like when I um, have little like embellishment books or things like that where there's like a bunch of little like strings or ribbon kind of hanging out. So that's why I like to tie those. And then um, here is my Velcro, as you can see. And then this would be my other pocket where I would put something. Um, so let's see. So yeah, you could put something like in that pocket there. Um, and then this flips open as well. So you could even put something behind this, but I just, so far I've kept it kind of plain. Um, oh, and then this little bow is from this set um, that I showed you guys in a previous video from the Maxi um, Creative Pad. So that's what this little um, present is there. Uh, and then the, let's see, the next one. So we would go one, two, and then here's three. And then I just included a couple little um, cards with um, like ribbon cards, but they have Baker's Twine on them. So those will go there. And then um, here are just some 
fun little bows that I made um, using an old Stampin' Up! die that's retired. And I just included some of those for the recipient. So that will go there. And then love this beautiful little angel from the Hey Santa collection. And then added um, some little flat backs um, to that just to give it some... Uh, some interest. Now, I didn't over embellish each pocket. I kind of think there's enough going on um, once you fill each of these and you have things poking out. Um, so they didn't really need a lot of um, embellishing. So I, I thought that was, you know, good. That's kind of why I like this project too, is it didn't require tons and tons of like decorating. So, um, and then here's number five and then number six. I love this one. I think I just love the um, the little stripe number six and then this little like gumdrop in presents and the little letter or the little word joy. I thought that was really cute. And then I'm going to just um, give the recipient some poinsettia stickers. So this was just a regular sticker sheet and I just cut them apart so they were still um, on backed on the acetate. Um, and but yet I could put them in this type of package so they could fit in the pocket so I, I would not have been able to fit a full sticker sheet in there but cutting it up that way it works so there's that and then um number let's see let's go to number seven here I just have isn't that cute with like the little page flags and then I have these little Santa stickers. Again, kind of just cut those apart so that they would fit in um, a little acetate bag. And then some of my um, fun little swans that I made a while back. So those will go there. And I just kind of like how that like peeks out um, of this embellishment book. So that's a fun thing about this type of project is you can have fun things, you know, like the bows could be like peeking out like that. Um, and I just really like that. I think that actually looks really cute. So just, yeah, I have stuff peeking out. Um, so that was seven and then eight. I just, um, had some of these already done from last year that I, um, just kind of stuck in there. I just, like I said, I haven't had time to make a lot of stuff. So there's those little words and those will be kind of sticking out there. And then um, this is from Kelly Bang's creative um, from one of her sets. I don't know, remember if it's Pink Christmas or Mix and a Mingle, but that's one also super cute. Um, and then here, number nine. These are some embellishments I made a few years back using, I think this is the Fall of Law collection. But um, yeah, they're kind of like mimic Alex or Alex. Alice from um, I Am Absolutely Alice did some coins um, years ago. Many people have done them. But I first saw her do them, and um, so that's where I had got this idea. But yeah, they're supposed to be like coins, but these were actual ornaments. So um, I just printed them off of the digital collection and made those, and then I included an extra one in here that's not decorated if the recipient wanted to make their own. So I'll probably print out a few more of those so that this is nice and full. Um, so that's number nine. And then number 10, isn't that sweet? And I love these numbers. They're, they almost look like wood and then they have glitter around them. So I'm getting low on those. And what I put in here is this little sweet clip. Um, this is from Shining Stars Boutique. So you can find her on Instagram. And then she has, a, I think it's an Etsy shop is yeah so she has an etsy shop so that's where that came from and then these were from stampin up years ago but i liked this kind of um idea of having these fun felt um little elements um for this project and i just put it in this little glassine bag so that will be for the recipient as well and then um, on number 11, I have this fun sequin mix. I love the sequin mix so much. I just absolutely love that red and pink with that little bit of gold in there. Um, anyway, super fun. So that's going to be for number 11. And then 12, um, I just have these in there, but I'll put some more things in that one as well. But again, just kind of like these tags here. Um, up here, I just added the baker's twine. And then I think I'm actually gonna do some stitching or something on these just to kind of make them a little bit prettier. And I'll probably do that with those as well. Um, so yeah, that'll be there. And then like I said, I will definitely finish um, 
you know, adding more to this for next year. But isn't this absolutely amazing? Um, so yeah, I definitely um, urge you to check out Michelle's um, YouTube and her Instagram and definitely do some of her tutorials. Her tutorials are really, really easy. She's really good at explaining how to do it. She always has the measurements perfect. Um, I have done a couple tutorials and I, <laughs> I feel like mine, I don't know. I don't know if mine are easy to follow or not, but I can tell you hers are easy to follow um, and you're gonna love her. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I wasn't talking too fast, but I, I'm just losing so much light that I wanted to, um, you know, hurry up and get that, um, this video done so that you guys can enjoy it. Um, this evening, if you're, if you're staying home like I am and you're not out doing a bunch of stuff, um, then you might want to be watching some videos. So, all right. Um, happy new year, everyone. And I look forward to many more projects in the coming year. Take care and be safe.